Hello friends, Satish Tiwari here from Ethical Hacking Tuition Center Jaipur. Today we are going to learn how to download and install one of the most you know, important Linux new technology Linux which is best for users for any kind of laptops whether you are using HP laptops, Dell laptop or Lenovo laptops. So this is the new and latest one best for ethical hackers and cyber experts even for home use. The name of this operating system is Zero Linux. Okay, so you can go to this site zero Linux dot xyz. Click on the download button. Once you click on the download button, it will take you to this sourceforge.net. Download this ISO from here. I have already downloaded this file from here. Okay, and once the file has been downloaded, you can see the file has been downloaded. Now I am going to set up it inside the virtual machine. I am going to show you how to install it. Okay, so just click on new, then click here on zero linux okay it will automatically select the version click on next give it at least 4 gb ram okay and give it at least four core processor for the best performance click on next give it at least 28 gb space click on next finish then go to settings go to system remove the floppy drive make the hard disk first bootable device goes to storage click on empty go to the right hand side choose the first option click on add and select the iso file so you can see this is the iso file i using selected is click on choose go to network you can either select net or bridge i selecting bridge then click on a start button and let's wait so installation will begin okay so you can see this operating system the name of this operating system is you can see zero linux okay uh, i'm making it scale mode so that you can see it in full screen mode so you can install in the graphics you can boot it you can just <coughs> check the hardware information okay so i'm going to so this will like all the drivers will be installed so i'm going to install it in graphics mode so i'll se select the second option and just wait so you can see welcome to zero line x the installation has been started now now just wait it's loading the driver so you can see this is our zero line x and you can see this linux interface how it's look okay so it's you can see like if you want to fix the resolution you can see there is option to fix the resolution you just click on kmu resolution fix okay if, if you want to launch at a start you can select this option if you don't want this you can click on launch installer or you can just close it so you can see this is the installer you can see all the options here like keyboard location no partition user summary installation finish everything here so i have selected the welcome message click on next then reason you can select your reason so i'm in asia kolkata so click on next keyboard selection okay go with the next erase the disk or select manually so i have selected 28 gb space i just wanted manual partition or you can just select it here is the disk okay 28 gb and create on it okay so just select in next what's your full name you can give your full name so let me give my full name satish tiwari okay what's your username i just want to give username satish system name this now you can asking for the password i am giving suppose red hat one two three here also i am giving red hat one two three
and you click on next install okay so install it install now installation has been started 5% installation done you can see it's KD environment plasma look so it will be very like you know a good look when you see this operating system you will find it very very beautiful everything neat and clear So you can see installation has been completed now you click on done and this is our new linux machine so you can see this machine you click here see the overview you can click here on the browser if you want to open the browser if you want to open the console here okay so if you want to see the system settings you can go to the system setting by clicking here so you can see all the options here like desktop effects if you want any type of like zoom effect or anything you can bring it from here you can see window management you can see all the options related to the settings related to the connections you will see all the wired connection or loopback interface ip address everything okay so if you want to set the ip address you can also set the ip address here okay if you want to set it manually you can set it manually but if you want it automatically you just select it automatic okay click on apply and it will be done now display and monitor you can see the resolution you can set according to like like if you want a tablet or mobile view you can change it so you can play with this one you can see bluetooth option kd connect all these things removable devices printers power management everything available inside this machine if you want to open the terminal simple click on the console and you will see this is the console this is the and you will see your linux machine console here you can run all the command here like ls command to list the files and folders okay so everything is available here this is the you know, an interesting linux machine which could be uh, like best for your laptop if you have a laptop and you want a linux machine on your laptop then this could be your choice you can see so many options here okay you can right click you can see so many options like refresh desktop you can like configure desktop and wallpaper so you can configure wallpaper from here also okay so you can see there are so many wallpapers good wallpapers here okay so you can apply it from here okay. now if you want to change the resolution you can configure display settings and in display setting you can set your resolution so i have set a, let me set the perfect one which will suit my resolution that is 1280 and 1980 let me select that option 16 is to 9 yes this one <coughs> this one is good okay apply done and this is our graphical look if you want to add widgets you can click on add widgets okay and then it will give you option which widgets you want like analog clock you want to clock or time whatever activities you want on your desktop you can add this like application launcher you can click that one and that will be launched here if you want a clock you can add clock you can see the clock has been added here okay 
so anything you want on your uh, as a widget you can add it so add widgets you can also add you can see shutdown button or contact info okay on the desktop if you want here you can see this has been added here so now if you want to reboot the system or shut down or log out you can use it this keys so i want to shut down i just click on shut down and it will be shut down from here so it's very easy very interesting operating system you must try on your machine and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe